Howdy gang, this is The Outside, welcome to another video. We are in Chamonix in France, as you can probably see from the glacier behind me and all the snow up top. So we left Munich yesterday morning and we flew down to Geneva quite early and we actually flew straight over the Alps and because the weather had cleared a little bit you could see all of the Alps and Mont Blanc, the pilot even actually pointed it out to us. So it was an amazing flight, it was almost something you just pay for as a scenic tour. After arriving in Geneva we killed a little bit of time and then we caught our bus through to Chamonix. It took a little over an hour, which was perfect. The weather cleared as we went. We've had a few days of rain, probably four or five days of rain actually during our trip. So it was great to see a little bit of blue sky and get some good conditions again. Once we arrived in Chamonix, we couldn't check in straight away, but once we could, we dumped our gear, got changed and went and checked out the UTMB village. The town's an absolute carnival and here's a little bit of footage I took yesterday while we wandered around. All right. So we've made it into accommodation and we've checked in and everything and we've decided it's time to go and actually suss this place out. So there's still TDS runners coming through here and there. Sounds like another one coming behind us now. For those not in the know, that's a 145 kilometer race. And they've got like 44 and a half hours as a cutoff time. And I think that's about 8.30 tonight. It's currently 3 p.m. So they've got like five more hours to finish. But they had a horrid start, it was snowy and disgusting and all bad. And I'm about to get run over by a train. So don't judge me, I can get around town with a running vest on and trail shoes because everyone else is doing it. It's just a carnival. The view out our window is just a glacier, it's just an amazing place. But anyway, stay tuned, we're on a bit of a Celebrity people hunt. We'll see how we go. So I'm not that kind of goofball to uh, annoy pseudo-famous celebrities and whatnot, but we've just had a chat with Lucy Bartholomew, who is an Australian runner running the UTMB, and we've just seen Sage Canada, who completed the TDS in about 12th place, I think. He's a runner from Boulder, Colorado. Oh, no, they moved. Anyway, the American runner. And had a lot of health issues the last couple of years, so pretty amazing to finish a 145 kilometer race. Anyway, this is where it all happens. I think this might be the chute where the UTMB runners will come around. And they'll come around this way and then they'll head down past where we're staying. This is about the first few hundred metres. And the start will be a little bit up to our left. And there's the uh, start slash finish line. This is a TDS runner finishing. We're coming through. Very inspiring.
So already we've bumped into a few cool people. We had a bit of a chat to Lucy Bartholomew, who's an Australian trail runner, and wished her all the best in her UTMB. Such a cool person to talk to and great to meet another Victorian while we're over here. While you're wandering around, even though it's so busy, you can't help but notice some of the some of the faces in the crowd. We saw Sage Canada, who just finished the TDS, which is the 145 kilometer event, and I think he actually finished 12th. They delayed the start of that slightly. I'm not sure by how much. Might have been an hour or maybe a touch more because it was blizzard conditions, snow, mud, just horrible on the Monday night, early Tuesday morning when they started that race. But watching some of the people come through, watching how emotional they were and how much finishing a race like that actually meant to them was just breathtaking to watch and really, really inspiring. To be here just as a spectator, I guess, and to sound the place out, it's quite humbling because a lot of people are here to run the events and it just makes you want to train hard and come back and do one of these events which you know gets i get goosebumps just thinking about it because it's such a cool place to be and it's something i really want to do down the track so today's plan it's thursday the occ has started it started at 8 15 this morning now that's the 55 kilometer event and there are some absolute jets running that race so we can to see that finish and that starts outside of town listed below exactly where it starts i can't remember exactly where it starts but it finishes here in Sham, which is going to be awesome to watch. They should be in around about one o'clock, maybe a little bit before one o'clock if they're motoring along really, really well. So our plan this morning is to get out for a run. We've sort of got a rough trail. We've only been in town, so we haven't explored the, the mountains on the valley either side. So the plan will probably be to do some sort of a circular track, probably get out the side of town, climb a little bit, run along one of the edges of the valley, probably cross again somewhere to the north and then run down the other side. There's a series of trails called the Petit Balcon, Sud and Nord, so the south and the north version of that trail, which sounds like it's a really popular, really easy hiking, walking and running trail. We might get 20Ks in with around about maybe 500 to 800 metres climb, or thereabouts, but we'll sort of sound it out as we go and see how we're feeling at the time. Also considering we want to get back to see the finishers finish the OCC. So we'll take the camera out and we'll see if we can shoot some really good footage. If you're ever thinking about coming to Chamonix, you'll get a glimpse of some of the trails. So stay with us. So this is the first run in Chamonix. Let's see how we go. It looks pretty quiet this morning. So hopefully we don't have too much traffic. And how is that view of what we think might be the Augi Dubidi up there, which Mont Blanc is behind that. What a place. So I think this is the actual shoot where the runners will come down but in the opposite direction when they're finishing the UTMB. Comes back into town from the north end from the Velocine end and they'll shoot straight through down there where Ellie's running, do a bit of a few deviations through town and then hit that, hit that finish line. Although I think from the opposite direction from where I just saw it. I'm not entirely sure but they're just starting to put up the barricades now obviously we'll have OCC finishes coming through here a bit later hopefully we'll capture a little bit of those guys too but for now it's about running in this beautiful place and just soaking up the atmosphere it just fills you full of life and energy being around so many runners everybody's around trail shoes it's crazy nice little flat path along the river here but just another beautiful little path. I think we do a bit of flat stuff before we start to climb a bit today. Petit Balcon Nord and La Lavantier. So we just encountered our first little bit of climb of, of this run and it's, it's pretty much straight up. Now we're on this cool little crossover track which is a good fun little bit of rooty rocky single track and it's going up too. Hallelujah. Anyway, sooner we get the up done, sooner we go back down I guess. I 
I love hills so much. They're just great training. Woo! Yeah! So I popped off the trail and we're coming into the town of I think it's called La Laventure. Follow along this side of the valley for a bit more, then we cross it. Climb up the other side. Such a variety of environments this kind of running takes you through. Little villages and cool forests and then sort of alpine climbs. It's really groovy. And a bit of construction work going on in the background. Lovely view. It's a lovely valley. This takes you some groovy little tracks in and out of little back streets and the mountains. And here we go through the village and here's a horse. <laughs> oh, <Ooh. laughs> <laughs> there was really a collision between two vistlers and two large horses. Pretty entertaining. <laughs> the system works. Petit Balcon Sud. That's where we're heading. We've come across on the Petit Balcon Nord. And that's the name of the town that I just butchered to pieces. Down, 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 down. One of the things you can't get away from in these valleys, whether you're in Switzerland or France, is the noise of helicopters up and down the valley. In Switzerland they were just constantly doing work, pretty much craning stuff up to high altitudes to fix things. I guess during the summer while they can. Not sure what it's all about in the Chamonix Valley, but it's the same drill. Helicopters and paragliders. All right, about 10 kilometers in, we're coming into Argentier. And here's where we'll do a bit of a turnaround, I reckon. Boom. Petit Balcon Sud. That's what we're looking for. So we've crossed the valley and we're up on the Petit Balcon Sud trail, which is a very popular gentle trail for hikers, walkers and runners. Now, when we're in Argentier, once again, probably butchering the name, we checked the live update of the OCC and Stee and Orgamond Norwegian? Swedish? I want to say Norwegian is, um, is leading and his next checkpoint is Argentier which is where we've just come through so we're ahead of him but he will catch us uh, before we get back to Sham so I don't think we're going to see the finish of the men's um, we may see a lot of top end finishes but the cool thing is we might be on the trail so we should be able to capture all of the leaders coming past and once again as we're in Argentier getting our bearings Marianne Hogan rides past on the bike she finished second in the UTMB last year it's just amazing you just keep seeing all these faces people you only ever see on TV which is pretty cool all the trail heroes Better focus on what I'm doing here, I'm gonna get ass up. This is very bony. Woo!
Prochain. So our text then KZ we've hit the course for the OCC, but we don't know if anyone's come through yet, so it'll be interesting. Bonjour. So we'll soon find out because we're gonna get passed by a heap of elite runners. But don't know when. Could be any time. I think you're leaving the OCC. Bravo! Bravo! Allez, allez! Bravo! Bravo! Allez! I tried, to, I tried to keep up. That dude is flying downhill. I was just scared of tripping over on the rocks. What a demon. That's after about 52 k's running. They're amazing. Bravo! Ali! Absolutely flying down. It's just nuts to watch. So this is a cracker. Coming back down to Sham, the finish is a finish. We've missed the, missed the finish because we're a bit slow on the run side. But just belting down with a bunch of the, the well, still, still the leaders, probably still top 10. They're just going so fast and just get carried away and wrapped up in it. And I'm just scared of going ass up. But a lot of fun. Bravo! Go, 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 go. Let's go, let's Ali! go. Allez, allez, bravo! Look like an American runner. So, this is basically where we've been coming down, it's the same as the UTMB finish. So once I get to the bottom of that little chute there, and then there's a bunch of little turns down through the bush, pretty much through here. So I come over, I'm across this very temporary looking overpass, and that gets them down next to the river, and then they shoot pretty much straight into town from there, which we've sort of filmed a little bit of, I think. Here comes another runner. Bravo! 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 Last one. across the river there, same as the UTMB course, you're into the last chute, and it's smooth sailing, no more climbing, straight into town, which we'll do now.
Bravo, bravo! Bravo, bravo! So that's it, we're back in at the carnival. Probably got, well, my watch said like 18 Ks, at least said about 17. I think I doubled back a little bit, but for now the carnival's still going on. We're just watching probably still the top 20 or 30 runners coming through, I'd say, which is pretty awesome. Here they come, here's another one. They're just freaks. These are 55K ACC runners. Just killing it. But yeah, we're gonna get something to eat probably and have another look around the expo and probably buy some stuff that we can't buy at home. Anyway, I'll close this out a little bit later, but it was a really good recce run. Feel a bit more comfortable knowing where we're going now, I think, and where the or some of the main trails are so we can actually have a little bit of fun while we're here and not be so stressed about where we're going and getting lost and those sort of things. But yeah, I really feel like we're finding our feet in sham. Comes another one. Bravo, Ali, Ali! Getting the hang of the lingo too. So we finished up that run really, really well. Everything felt kind of cruisy and had a few climbs there and a few rooty and rocky sort of sections that made us kind of think about what we were doing, but just really good to find our feet and find our way around Sham. There's so many trails up there that it's so easy just to kind of get lost. But the ones we stayed on were the Petit Balcon Nord and Petit Balcon Sud. And they seem to be two big, long, major hiking and walking and mountain biking type trails and good for running as well. So that made it a little bit easier for us. I feel a lot more comfortable now. I feel like I can probably get out there the next few days and, and run around a few other trails and kind of know where I am in relation to the valley and hopefully get a bit more elevation and push a little bit. Today it was about 18 k's around. It was about 400 meters elevation. So just a good start. On, I guess it's our first full day here, but really cool. When we came back in, we hit the course for the OCC and started seeing the runners coming down. And then we basically followed them into town and some of the footage you would have seen uh, trying to keep up with a couple of these runners was nuts. And they would have been top 10 male runners. So we were right up there amongst it. We got back into town to watch the female one, two, three, which is really cool. Um, the winner was a South African girl, Katie Scheid, who is American, but lives in France, I believe. She won UTMB last year. She came in second place. And then I think a Chinese runner came third. Just really cool vibe to be in town to see all that go down. So a lot of fun. Uh, we really enjoyed it. We're loving Chamonix. If you ever get a chance to visit for any purpose, uh, have a run, definitely, because there's so many places to run, but it's just a beautiful town to be part of. The apartment we've got, we booked a year ago. So that was pretty conservative, but we kind of needed to. And we're right at the end of the street where the UTMB is going to take off. So we'll get a, I'm on the balcony now, we'll get a balcony view of the front runners come past in that first 800 meters. The other cool thing is I'm able to make a bit of a shake for a recovery after the run. So right now, obviously we've been in the camper van for quite a while, but right now we're feeling really comfortable about our running, our activity and our recovery which is really cool and it's it's nice to have that level of comfort. So we're going to try and recover now, head into town, see what's going on. We really can't get enough of it and there's a heap of running gear that we can't access in Australia, which is kind of groovy as well. So we're going to check a few things out, hopefully bump into another few runners who are running UTMB tomorrow morning, or tomorrow afternoon, I should say, and just have a great time. So again, hope you enjoyed the content, hope you enjoyed a bit of a look around our first glimpse of trail running in Chamonix. If you like what you're seeing, obviously hit that thumbs up below and feel free to subscribe to the channel. It helps me grow it as I start to post more content, which I say every time, but look, it's a new channel. Hopefully we can keep posting some good stuff and develop as we go and feel free to come along for that ride. Until then, make sure you keep running, stay on the trails, stay happy, and I'll see you on the outside.